And just like that, the $1 Park East transaction was complete. Milwaukee County Exec Chris Abley turning over the massive corridor of vacant downtown land to the Bucks ownership for less than the cost of the pens used to sign the deal. But Abley believes the job creation and downtown development that will follow makes this a good deal for everyone. We're here because we're creating jobs, thousands of jobs now, right now. County Board Chairman Theo Lipscomb was among those critical of the deal, saying today we all celebrate that the Bucks are staying in Milwaukee, but tomorrow and for the next 20 years, taxpayers must pay the tab Chris Abley ran up. Bucks officials rolled out renderings of the proposed development here, but we also learned exactly how it's expected to look. With a Bucks new practice facility first up to the west, the middle section divided as 5th Street is extended and featuring parking, office, residential and retail sites and the east block entirely office and residential. It's adjacent to the planned arena site, but the Bucks say there wouldn't be an arena plan without it. How critical was this ancillary development to the arena deal as a whole? Without it, the arena as a whole doesn't happen, so it's critical. It's essential. Yeah, that proposed arena is scheduled to go right in across the street over here. The Milwaukee Common Council still has to vote on the city's share of this plan. That's expected to happen later this month. There could be groundbreaking here as early as October. Bucks President Peter Fagan saying today that he is, in his words, pumped to get started.